Welcome BTGers, I am outside Miltech Sport HQ here at the test centre at the Nürburgring. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have two fantastic sports cars that Miltech have brought over to do a little bit of racetrack testing here at the ring and also at Spa later next week. Um, but I'm not interested in those, even though it's a brand new G82 and a brand new 992 Carrera 4. However, what I am interested in is this. Yep, yeah, it's a brand new Dodge Ram TRX and this, an Audi RS Q8. And we're going to take those for a lap tonight, just because you've got to, right? So let's go. Wow, it's a big thing to turn, man. This thing is huge. Yeah, now you know how, how I feel, man. <laughs> what? Just when you're in the supermarket? Oh, shit. You feel huge like a TRX? Uh, yes, because I have a big dump truck. <laughs> you are a dump truck. Oh, come on, mate. Why, why is there this animosity, man? No animosity. It's respect. Now, you're in a right-hand drive, aren't you? Hello. Uh, wow, you figured that out? Yeah, yeah, but I'm in the left-hand drive, look. Let's go to the track. We're about to go on to the racetrack. Behind me is Mark, driving the Audi RS Q8 demo car from Miltech. Uh, that car's chipped, it's got 710 horsepower. Interestingly, it's also got, also got massive brakes. It's got eight pot calipers, uh, single piece braking calipers on the front with massive discs. Uh, I have tiny little discs uh, with a sliding two piece caliper that I think has got two pistons on the inside. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know how it's meant to stop this thing. Uh, this is, uh, two and a half tons I think maybe three tons actually I think this is maybe three tons either way it's under the three and a half ton commercial limit um, for the Nürburgring so this this is the same as taking around of a, a Mercedes Sprinter or something technically I have no idea if we're actually gonna make it on the circuit I mean I literally have no idea there's been some there's been some little tales of woe recently with a couple of little f-150s not being allowed out on track i've personally took my silverado around quite a few times and i know for a fact that uh robert from apex he's took his silverado around as well before so i don't know man i don't know what they're gonna make of the trx i'm through Nobody stopped me. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to put this for the show. Oh, I'm out on track. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. You good? Yep. Man, I went through before anybody could even question the, the axle weight of this. I don't even know the axle weight myself. I think it's 2.8 maybe. I barely fit through the cones. You have to wait for me, right? Because I'm fucking trapped five cars behind you. Okay, I just wanted to accelerate, so I've... I'm sure you can catch me. Everybody, move out of my way. Oi. All right, got you. Oh, this thing's fantastic, actually. Even if we are on off-road tires. Yeah, we go straight ahead and out on all fours. Oh shit, you're rocking like you no know, one's hot, man. That thing is tilted. Oh, do you actually know how fucking loud that car is? Oh, we drive like Joey's over curbs and shit. Yeah, that's me, Rubai. Oh, 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 I hit the speed limiter. It's got a speed limiter at 180. Yeah, it's good, man. Because that thing looks fucking unsafe as shit, man. Yeah, that's it. 190 for the speed limiter. Oh, 
prepared to go off trying to bust his way through, man. really hard on my brakes. <laughs> well, this is fantastic. <laughs> oh my word. Are and I'm done. My brakes are officially done. I'm going to have to slow down because we've got no brakes. Oh, yeah, you're smoking, my chief. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I better use some engine braking down this hill, I think. So we're going to take a cool off period now on the downhill section. Uh, yeah, smart decision. I totally condone. Yeah, it's okay. I've not totally boiled them. I think I've just overheated the pads. Yeah, it's just the pads smoking a little bit. Oh, Incoming, man. Incoming, E90. I've got him, I've got him. I'm indicating right. Oh, Theo, you want to fucking batter him? <laughs> I can't. I've got, to, I've got to keep these pads cool. Oh, but some, somebody's pads. This FQA. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Go on. Does it feel good? Yeah, man. Yeah, it what feels, does it feel like? It fucking feels settled, man. You know, they are trying to hide the weight. The sidewall is a bit stiff, you know, and there's not a lot of feedback from the tire. But center of gravity actually kind of is all right. Much, much better than the Range Rover I used to have a couple yeah. of years ago. Do you think we're going to take this GT out, man? Slowing down nice and gradually. I'm not pushing the brake pedal too much. I'll let the corners slow this thing down. <laughs> oh shit, you did a skid, man. You did a nice skid. What do you think this MX-5 thinks when he looks in the mirror? Oh, you just sucked into the fucking supercharger. You're too weird in the grass.
to mark and they've gone kind of quiet because my word that's scary my brake pedal is about halfway down the floor at the moment but it still has some functionality a little bit I'm not pushing it too hard Okay, wow. <laughs> that was literally the most ridiculous lap I have ever made in my life. Um, I'm almost 90% sure that we'll get kicked off the circuit for being too loud. Uh, we'll find out that in a moment, I guess. Uh, can I condone taking a three ton truck around the Nürburgring? Well, when it's got 707 horsepower, then yes, yes I can. This was a great thing to do. I'm glad I did it. I'm really glad I did it. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous now. Oh my God. Let's, uh, let's phone Mark now we've slowed down. This GT3 just had to overtake me back. Jimmy. Mate, my nerves are jangling. Your brake pads are burning, my Jeep. Yeah, they're fine. They'll they'll recover, maybe. I don't know. Holy moly. Holy moly. That was a holy that was a ridiculous lap, man. That was one of the most jokes laps I've ever done in my life. That was just the most fun, right? I mean that was just crazy. I can't believe just how hot my brakes are right now there's just way too much car, way too much power way too much weight for these little brakes man yeah yeah <laughs> to be fair oh, yeah, yeah. i have seen hyundai's with with a third of the weight and that would would have the weight and double the brakes yeah <laughs> Oh, everyone's just looking at the brakes. And, and that's that, man. I think the track is shut again. Yeah, track shut again. Whew. Oh Look, my God, my adrenaline it. is, my, I've got actual adrenaline, mate. Like it's a while since I've had adrenaline on the track, but I have adrenaline now. I'm just getting over that. I Steve just asked me, where's Steve? There's Steve. Steve just asked me, was it scary or was it fun? Uh, the answer is clearly both it's really really fun because you're driving something that's absolutely not meant to be out there on a racetrack and yet still you can overtake people because you have endless power and torque uh, but then you remember as you're overtaking these like gt3s and m3s and like tuned m3 track toys all the way over from england and i'm having to flash them out of the way and then as you do that you remember that you shouldn't really be doing that. No, it's not what it's built for. No, but the other thing is, you can make extra space on the track because you just go two wheels in the grass and you barely even feel it. So you just go two wheels in the grass and just overtake people and it's okay. Ah, yeah, wow. I don't know, this is the craziest lap I've ever done in my life. Uh, I, I mean, I thought that the Range Rover taxi was the craziest laps yeah. I'd ever done in my life, but that is a thoroughbred Le Mans race car compared to driving this bad boy around the track and this is just the tow car this is like the miltech show and tow car yeah and uh yeah has it got just quick question has it got any miltech parts on it already yeah, absolutely yeah. Uh, what's it got on uh front cage pipe and our new uh, large carbon fiber tips ah right okay cool okay so everybody had a good look at those oops oh yeah these are the big ones they're nice. Whew. Man. Mark, what did it look like from outside? 2021, you are rocking like Noah's Ark, man. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Leaning from the left to the right. Every now and then you're doing a little skid with the tires. Uh, bare smoke from the brakes. I've never seen anything like this before. And we actually were not going fast at all. But never seen a car that would take any curb with ease like this you don't even know the curbs are there no no <whistles> hmm. 
All right, well, thank you very much. I'm sorry there's not been as many videos of late as you'd like, uh, but I have been stacking up a load of content, which I will be releasing over the next few weeks. Um, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I am gonna go back to my day job because no doubt the rental cars are coming back to the fleet, back to the HQ right now. So we better get going. Right, Mark, say goodbye. Danke, ciao, ciao, au revoir.